So hello my beautiful friend and welcome. Happy Halloween. We're gonna play Alan Wake episode 3 and 4 now. And after that I have um, another game but I'm gonna talk about that when we're there. So for now continue and Steam Cloud Alan Wake? What? Oh, this is the save file. Okay. Also, you see, there is no border because um, I had a moment where my mind just... Oh, wait. In Streamlabs, I can just say capture the game and not the whole screen. So, yeah. That's the thing with Streamlabs. Um, yeah, uh, this can run in the background. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thank you so much. Please remember to do all the platform specific things, all the things that make the dings. So thumbs up, like, subscribe, whatever you have to do. And let's go. Also, uh, I don't have coffee. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. I have tea. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's FBI. anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? Help you folks. Name's Randolph. Hi, Randolph. The manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner. Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the <laughs> I'm Alan Wake. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the This is no papers important what this Barry says. This is crazy. Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true and urban this, legends come true most of this stuff takes place around cauldron lake cauldron lake uh, you ain't wrong mister the indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld oh i'm the god-fearing type myself I, I don't hold with that sort of thing yeah okay anyway there was an island there owned by a guy called thomas zane thomas now, zane some of the articles i found about him make him out to be a famous writer but i ran a bunch of searches couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Hmm. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Interesting. So really important. We already met Thomas Zane. Um, he's in the diver suit, of course. And the whole... Urban legends becoming true and everything. Oh, just wait for it. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. Mm. They were lovers. Barbara Jagger. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Hmm. I'm just getting to the best part. Al. All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both <laughs> Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Hmm. I like Cynthia. Oh, that's it? Okay, um, yeah, Cynthia is the one who knows that there is something in the dark. She was the one who... Um, Rose Marigold. This here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Okay, no comment. Yeah, um, she's the one who presses everyone to change the light bulbs and everything because she knows that something is in the dark. Uh, she's already behind the door. Can you see her? There is the ear. Uh, there she is. Hi. That's still footsteps. <laughs> Welcome to... to... Oh dear. Mr. Wake. Oh. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. 
Please, come in. Come in. Not suspicious at all. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry? She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. <laughs> Love what? Barry. But I know that feeling. I was roofied once. Not a good thing. Luckily nothing happened because I had friends with me. It's coming for you. Hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. Hmm. I promised I'd come visit you. Oh, there she is. Wife. You must finish what you started. I insist. I insist. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. <laughs> Back to work, boy. Back to work, boy. I love the voice actress. Such an amazing voice. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Only anger kept me going. I can't tell reality from dream anymore. Man it too angry to an die. Imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. Hmm. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Oh, I love this so much. So, um, hmm. Rose's room, so, um. <laughs> but I like this one. This looks comfy. Oh, what's this? Belief in change. Oh, interesting. Uh, can't make out the rest. Okay, let's go. Barry! Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Poor Rose. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Poor Rose. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Every voice actor. Barry so was good. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> and again, this is <laughs> so handsome. So <laughs> handsome. Oh, I love Barry. So and his flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. So, I'm thinking, um, well, after episode one and two, you already know that the manuscript pages are spoilers for everything. Uh, let's just say we're gonna listen to the first ones here. And then we're gonna continue, and then we're gonna listen to a couple more. And by the way, this is Jeju Lemon Tea. Um, as I was in South Korea, uh, before there are jokes that I was in the north, <laughs> um, we bought this tea. It's in small bags. Oh, it's so tasty. And it's almost empty. I have to go back to Korea. <laughs> Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, Looked like trouble, and they'd been in there for hours. 
way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone Creep. and called the sheriff's station. Ah, hi! How are you? I hope you had a great day. So, next one. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Oh, so... Ah, I'm also well, thank you. Happy Halloween, by the way. Um, so this one is important because this is... Um, after Thomas Zane has basically defeated the Dark Presence and um, then the Dark Presence was asleep here and as soon as we came to Bright Falls then it began again. Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. Hmm, Agent Nightingale. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. <laughs> he felt wrong, and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Ellen Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Yep. So, yeah, um, Nightingale has an alcohol problem. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Hmm. So this is just gameplay spoilers. I the door shut right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left, no guilt either, not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. Hmm. So last one and then we're gonna continue. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Oh. Um, I think about three hours. Uh, two chapters of uh, Alan Wake and then a game, uh, a horror game, of course, uh, where I got the key from a death. Uh, so, radio. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and mm. dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind? Zack Snyder. Very important. Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I had a, uh, you know, uh, argument with Danny. You know, Danny. And uh, then I got in trouble with the law. You know, and um, uh, I'm just... Hmm. Well... I heard something like that, Walt. Just 
So, oh, okay. the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I, I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I better go. Well, uh, Walt, uh, maybe... No, th thanks, Pat. Uh, well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? So, first of all, weather, really important, and Walt and Danny are the two, oh uh, no, uh, Walt we saw in the prison, he was the one uh, drunk dude who thanked us for turning on the light, really important, for, oh not that important, but it's a good to know thing for later. I love this game so much. Can't wait until we're through with this and then we can't jump over this. Just wanted to see if I missed something my earlier playthrough. Um, yeah, and then Control and then finally Alan Wake 2 oh, again. Gonna <laughs> we're gonna get it. And get what? Candy? God knows what you've done to that poor girl. I've done nothing. She drugged me. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slay. Someone's getting spooked outside. Run, Ellen. Run. What are you? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. I hate so, to leave Barry oh. behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Okay, run. Run. With your very short stamina. Um, yeah, again. Stories that become real, really important. This is why we get the manuscript pages before things are happening. Everything has been written. And you might say this is uh, a cliche, and it kinda is. Uh, this is something that I talked in our last stream with Alan Wake 1 before. Um, it has a purpose and I love the purpose. I think we're gonna talk about it in episode 4, so in the next chapter. So yeah, this action filled action scene here. Oh, okay, now it begins. <laughs> Run, Ellen! Okay, stuff is going to happen now. Again, weather. What weather? So, the Dark Presence is localizing weather phenomena. Oh, we have... Oh, yeah, he already said we don't have a flashlight. Okay, okay. Uh, manuscript page. We're on the right path. Uh, but we already read this one. Or rather, let Alan read it to us. So it begins. The Dark Presence. <laughs> oh! Yeah. So, but no one was inside. Very good. Uh, can't pop the trunk. Yep, 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 Nightingale has problems. Oh yeah, this is just where we're running to. That's fine. Oh. Oh, I should watch where we go and not look to at the flare. Let's go. 
Oh, we are going deeper. Deeper into the dark presence. Oh. Yep. We're almost in. So now the police and the FBI are making contact. It's Andy. Who's Andy? Uh, they're making contact with the Taken and the Dark Presence. And they do not know how to react to it. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. <laughs> What's wrong with tweet jackets? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Hup. Oh, I also looked um looked up where the episode three ends and episode four. So oh no, uh even You on the ground. Hold it right there. Uh please don't Yes, there is. Ow, dude! Um. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh, now we really have to go. Uh. Oh, it's the birds. Okay. So, what's happening? Blackhawk down! Poor guys. It feels bad. Uh, thanks, birds? Uh, up here was something. And um, not only this. Uh, toggle zoom. Oh, there are only two zoom functions. Okay. Uh, I think there was nothing important. Oh, what's... Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. It's just light source for later. Uh, in here, radio. Mulligan and Thornton. Uh, this is James. Mulligan, Thornton, come in. Over. Uh, uh, Thornton here. Uh, James, we got both Wheeler and Rose in custody. <laughs> they didn't put up a fight or anything. <laughs> well, they were, hey, well, you, come on. Sit down and give me that. James, Mulligan here. Over. Uh, go ahead, Mulligan. Over. Uh, we got Wheeler and Rose here. Wheeler's drunk or hopped up on something. Speaking of which, that fed had a pretty distinctive whiff of eau de scotch about him. I love eau de scotch. Over. Uh, I don't have anything on that, Deputy Mulligan. Over. Well, whatever. Anyway, Rose is just being plain weird here. You better get Doc in to take a look at both. Over. Gotcha. You better get them here quickly. The, uh... Fed's gonna want to interview the Wheeler, over. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll bet he does. Looks like they have a lot in common. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I mean, uh, I like the uh, phrase, or the scotch, not drinking because I stopped drinking. Um, Yeah, but you already see something is wrong with Nightingale, of course. Uh, not only the immediately start shooting at Alan, but also that everyone that the around him sees what's really happening. The local radio station. Maine seemed like a decent guy. Perhaps he could give me directions to the coal mine. So, <gasps> darkness door. So spooky. Unnatural shadows clung to the gate. The darkness that was after me was trying to stop me. I wouldn't get through without a light. <laughs> without a there fight. No power to the searchlight. Oh, yeah. Uh, there. Now witness the fight we are going to have with the door. Let's go. So, you do you. 
and I go here. <laughs> ah! Darkness door. Oh, I can't wait to play Alan Wake 2 again. <laughs> again, I bought it for PC as well, so we're gonna play it on PC. Uh, more darkness doors. Uh, oh yeah, we, we're not allowed to get closer. Uh, flashlight. Thank you. Uh, something else? No. Uh, was there something? No. Okay. Let's get rid of you. Hold up. Um, yeah, I'm always going to... Wasn't here something? No. Oh. Flashbang grenades. They were an ideal weapon for my situation. There is no Team 1 anymore. Team 2, come in. I need a report. Over. Come on, guys. Talk to me. Come in, please. Over. So sorry for you. Um, I'm always going to give my support to Remedy. I just love their games. Uh, can we just walk past you? Oh! Okay, oh, there are too many of you. Get away! Oh. Okay, come on, Alan. Breathe! Breathe! Wait! <laughs> and... Wait! Oh, ow! Come on, come on, jump! Dude! No! Oh, I should have just used the flashback. <laughs> so stingy with the items. Okay, but I... Ow! Uh, I wanted to wait. Oh! I just wanted to wait until all of them are in one spot so that I can use just one flashbang instead of two or three. Because flashbangs are awesome. Ow! Dude! Take this! Ah! It was close. Okay, run. Run, Alan. Run. <gasps> no! You have to take a breath. Dude! 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 You deserve to die earlier. I'm sorry. Uh, no weapons? No, but radio. And here's another call. You're on KBFFM with Pat Main. It's Milt Peabody, Pat. What's on your mind, Milt? Milt. Just up the road from me, too. Uh, what's going on, do you know? I don't know, but there's a bunch of police cars there, lots of sirens, a helicopter buzzing around, and I think I heard some gunshots. Gunshots? Mm. Yes, sir, like from a pistol. So can you find out what's going on? Because it's just next door and they're popping off guns there. They're still shooting? No, it was maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It sounds serious, Pat. I'm telling you, it don't sound like no party. Well, uh, I'm certainly going to give the station a call, Milt. Okay. You'll hear it here as soon as I hear from them. Okay, no. thanks. Things are going downhill. And we're at the center of it. Um... Uh, there are a lot of you. Take this. Ow! Oh, I didn't hit you? So, just blind him. I don't want to waste a flashbang just for one guy. Oh, it's a big one! That's why! Uh, take this. For the big ones, I think you have to hit them with the grenade full on the face. Uh, okay, there are three of you. Take this. Should be enough. Run, Alan! Okay, they're gone. A uh, police car.
Mm, I mean, at least there is more light here. Is that the radio station? Yes, that's already the radio station. Let's go. Ah! Oh. oh, did I hear a big one? No. Okay. It's so weird to play this game with mouse and keyboard. For me. Yes, radio station. Pat, help me! Uh oh. Uh, take this! Eyes! Ah, oh, just one is enough. Just wanted to curse a little bit that I wasn't able to throw it in his face. I hope Maine could lend me a car to get to the coal mine. What do you mean? It's a trailer park. Of course you're going to have trouble in a place like that. I mean, what do you expect? Hmm? The sheriff should be helping us normal citizens instead of wasting resources on those people. On oh, those people? Let the trash sort themselves out. I'm sorry, but my granddaddy settled in Bright Falls in 1911. That's a long time ago. Thank you very much for that uh, compassionate viewpoint, Lorna. <laughs> Yep. Very compassionate. Uh, wasn't there something here? I don't think so. Okay, let's go in. Pat, help! Crazy FBI agent is behind me and he, he's calling me author names. Uh, can I go into the rooms? Oh, this one looks creepy. The Night Owl. The voice of Pat Main. All night, every night. Early bird. Oh. The famous writer Alan Wake just walked in, folks. I'm gonna see if I can talk him into an interview. Thanks for doxing me. <laughs> Come on in, Mr. Wake. Uh, just a second. No. Okay. Uh, it, it looks like Mr. Oh, I'm so oh. glad you could find the time to do this, Mr. Wake. Nowhere to run now, Dan Brown. You back away from me. Don't. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everyone calm down. Put the gun down. We're all friends here, right? Cool your jets, Nightingale. We got him. Judas Priest! What the hell Judas is that Priest! Out of you? There's a civilian in there! Oh, the glass pieces! Ah, oh, elegant like a swan. <laughs> you hear me, HP Lovecraft? <laughs> I had fallen off so many cliffs, it was ridiculous. That's what you get for naming a book The Sudden Stop. It was probably <laughs> good I hadn't had the chance to tell Maine where I was going. I'd have to lose the cops and find my own way to the mine. Oh, nice. Uh, how did I change those? Ah, okay. Good to know. Can I also... Oh, I can also do it with the mouse wheel. Very good. Uh oh. Uh, take this. Uh, ow, ow. Okay, wait. I don't want to waste a flashbang. Keep it away from me, please. Yes. Uh oh, that was fortuitous timing. Oh, thank you. Because when you stand in the light, uh, the enemies disappear. That's really good. But only as long as you stay in the light. So there was no yellow paint here. No. Okay. Oh! Okay. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Well, oh, that was close. Oh. Ow! Now the shooting starts. This is where the fun begins. Uh, am I on the right path? I, th I think so. Map says yes. Um, okay, where are the enemies? Can already turn this on. There is... 
Oh yes. The boomstick. Uh oh. Wait. Because it's just two shots with this gun. Turn on! Ow! Oh, there's also a big and Ow, dude! I just pressed the button. Okay. Get in. Take the boomstick. Get out. Press the button. Alan, run! Just don't stand there like that. Uh, do this. Do that. Oh, that's still the boomstick. Um, because now we need to use a little bit of the environment as well. Holy crap. Uh, come on, come on, come on. <gasps> no, no, no. Turn this on. This is really powerful. Come on, Alan. Oh, he already did. Oh no. Oh crap. Okay, boomstick, boomstick. Nice, nice. Oh. Reload! Uh, where are you? Oh crap, I missed. Oh. That's not a lot of ammo left. Uh, yellow paint, yellow paint. We need yellow paint. We need supplies. Again, this is still just the regular difficulty. Nightmare mode is really hard. The darkness controls the Taken. We know, we know. Thank you, mysterious person that writes these. Uh, oh, nice. Knock over five camp pyramids. Oh, just five? Oh, uh, yeah, my first playthrough I basically ignored every camp pyramid. Uh, there is a page. Let's just grab that one. Maybe I already got that. I think. Oh no, that's a new one. Wake attacked by a bulldozer. The bulldozer's engine roared to life. Mud and rocks flew as it fought for traction. It crashed the concrete wall and landed heavily in the yard. If it were an animal, it would have shaken its head after the impact, fixed its eyes on me, and charged. Of course, it had no head, nor eyes. Shadows crawled on its form, twisting it into a monster. Then, it came for me. It came for me. Oh yeah, this is going to be awesome. Uh, oh, we only have um, flashbangs left. No flares anymore. That's a shame. Uh, is there something in here? Oh, how did I miss that? So, I saw... Uh, last time I already talked about the Odia Diner Thermos. And it's really a shame uh, that... I really want it, but it's just not worth it. Uh, oh yeah, the train. Because the quality is apparently really bad. Uh, it starts rusting and the inside is glass, so it shatters. <laughs> Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Hmm. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. Hmm. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. I mean, at least he's acknowledging that she sounded weird. In other games, it's just like, oh, 
It's her. I have to listen to her. <laughs> so, yellow paint. Nice. Although we have a lot of revolver ammo. Now we have maximum revolver ammo. Oh, nice. There it is. Uh, flares. Let's go. And boomstick ammo. How much boomstick do we have? 16. Oh. Oh, this is a medium enemy. Oh, I hate that. An uneven number of shots. Ah, oh, 35. I hate 35. Why do they give us two light enemies that can be dispatched with two shots and one medium enemy that needs three shots? A railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. Oh, thank you for the follow. Didn't see your name, my microphone is in the way. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's also just a temporary setup here. As soon as I move. Oh, yeah, um, I've got... Uh, excuse me, can I pass? Yeah. I've got some news on that front. That was pursuing um, was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. I, you know, that I started applying for new jobs, and I hope it looks good. Oh, there it is. This one. Oh, wait. Uh, get away, please. So we need to get rid of those because they do a lot of damage also willing to use batteries and flares uh, oh damn uh, so hopefully hopefully um oh wait this one will attack us from behind um there is a company that already wrote me and with a little bit of luck I will have an appointment for an interview. Because as of right now they just wanted a little bit more information. Uh, which is a good sign, so let's hope, let's hope it would be so good to have a new job. Nice. A lot of batteries, but they are not being wasted here. Because flying darkness equipment, pipes, everything, they do a lot of damage. Really need to use everything. Get interested in writing. Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story. Certainly not the protagonist. Mm. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything. And it was getting closer. So there were enemies here, I think. Yeah, but we're in about the middle of episode three. Uh, one flare. Oh, there are more in here. Oh, uh, or not. Ooh, but boomstick ammo. Anything else? Ah, now the enemies. Uh, you know what? I don't want to get. Defeat 50 taken with fl flashbang grenades. Ooh. Oh, this is on a timer? No. Wait. Oh, now it opens. Uh, hi, birds. Okay. Uh, there you are. Boomstick! I'm not gonna waste revolver ammo on you. Uh, also, gonna use 
batteries or not. Oh, come on! Boomstick ammo is just wasted on the small ones. Mm. I don't think there was much left here. Oh, a TV. Nice. So this is going to be fun. Uh, get away. Night Springs. I love Night Springs. Tonight's episode, a family occasion. Journalist Alvin Durlis' trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful. Until tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durlith, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition, but you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid mm. we're in short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Oh, oh very intimate. Close, Mr. Durlith. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. I, uh, oh, it's getting spicy. Oh, mm. mm. oh, mm. oh. <laughs> the kiss of death. Well, well please, Nixie Perka, the dweller in flesh. Your body shall host a thousand years, and all shall be glory. All shall be glory. We have to sway the non believers. Also draining my uh, drinks too fast again. We're not even one hour in, and my bigger mug is already empty. But the Jeju lemon tea is just so tasty. Oh, and I miss the food in Korea. Oh, it was so good. It was the first time in my life that I almost cried because of food. I, it brought tears to my eyes. I'm not joking. It was beautiful. Um, wait, wait. Uh, use the flare. We're gonna get rid of you. Um, ow! Get rid of you. Do this. Uh, need to... Uh, because we can't just point the flashlight at the bulldozer, we need to focus it. And it takes a long time, sadly. So we're gonna use batteries. Ow! Dude! Okay, we're gonna use flashbangs. Oh, crap. Oh, it worked. Okay. Because... Oh. Wait, wait, are there more? No, okay, very good. Oh, there's... Oh no, we were there upstairs, okay. Revolver ammo, nice. Flares, also very nice, thank you. You're so forthcoming. Oh, more flares. Revolver ammo full. Uh, yeah, but now just have regular chamomile tea, which is also really tasty. Because slowly but surely the season of tea is here. Uh, 
Um, okay, we're almost at the point where we're gonna listen to the last pages of the manuscript for episode 3. Uh, everything here... Was there something inside? No, we can't go in. Okay, before we take the car... Uh, let's listen to... Until Wake and Casey. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason, and it's not for anything good. Hmm. When Tom oh, Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And know the feeling. Of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Cute. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. Nothing mm. remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the Dark Presence. But for anything more elaborate, as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Hmm. Also very important. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Uh, okay, last one. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Hmm. So we already know that he has anger issues. But there is more. I had never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. Okay, walking in broad daylight. That's going to be nice. The coal mine wasn't far now. <laughs> That's it. Just sunrise. Oh no, it's not even sunrise anymore. Um, he drove a while, so this is already dusk. Today, I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Boom. Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into darkness. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the Dark Presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real. But it matched a textbook case of insanity. No. So, uh, again, there are collectibles and manuscript pages around here. I'm sorry, but we're not gonna look for every single one because the animation of getting out of the car getting back into the car and everything else just takes too long um, but we need equipment if there is something collectible inside we're of course gonna use it this was just a radio station damn it okay <laughs> for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. <laughs> you see, I encountered a big shot.
hotshot G-man with an G -man. trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. I'm True. I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say... I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. Oh, sure I love Pat. Bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Okay, uh, we don't need the music. Oh, I really thought there is going to be equipment in here. So we're just gonna steal another car. <laughs> Let's go! convenient car with keys inside and everything engine warmed up seat warmed up weird so convenient but yeah these spots I don't know why they're in the game um, I really do not know uh, maybe I knew and I just forgot but um, just driving around a little bit Discovering is nice, you get a little bit of lore stuff for the background, but I'm going to tell you everything you're gonna need later. Poor car. I'm sorry, whoever belonged it, uh, to whomever it belonged. Uh, okay, we're nearing the I end I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon of the, the episode. main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. I really thought there was a little bit more. What? Read? Oh yeah, volcanic eruption. Mm. Oh yeah, after this scene we're gonna listen to a couple of manuscript pages again. I didn't want to go outside. Cops had to be looking for me. The new sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. I Ways thought it was dusk. The kidnapper to get Alice back, or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Hmm. Through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't manuscript. Wait wait. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm gonna kill him. So, manuscript. Uh, where were we? Wake and Casey? Wait, how many do we have? One, two, three. Just four, and maybe if we find some. Even behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. Hmm. Maud had checked all of Stucky's rental cabins. Who was Maud? There had been no sign of the wakes. It was dark when he'd found their car parked at the end of the road by Cauldron Lake. It made no sense. They must have taken a wrong turn. But there was no sign of them. And the car had been there for hours already. Frustrated, Maud stood on the rotten ruin of the footbridge that had once led to Diver's Isle before it sank beneath the waves years ago. The boss wouldn't be happy. I forgot who Mott was. I mean, we just heard who Mott is, but still. I tried to hold on to Alice, but her form melted away. I was losing control. 
Dr. Hartman stood in her place. I wanted to hit him, but my arms were jelly. He smiled. It was a reassuring smile, and I hated him for it. I had to give you a sedative. Don't fight it. You went through another rough period. Right now, it's very important that you stay calm. We don't want you to have another episode. You're a patient at my clinic. Have been for a while now. Wait. This was... This is already in episode 3? The hunters were big, thick-set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. Hmm. I had to get to Mirror Peak. I had to get to Mirror Peak. Uh, oh, yes, we do have to go there. It was close, uh, maybe closer than ever before. Where was the exit here? Um, wait, it's not the door. No, I'm always every time I'm here, I forget. Oh, it was just... Oh, yes, yes, yes. It was just jump down and then there is going to be a ladder. Uh, here? No? Wait. Uh, oh, first equipment. Thank you. Battery's 20. Thanks. Oh, now the ladder. Okay. Or is it just jump down and hopefully not break your ankles? Yeah, hopefully not break your ankles. We have that manuscript page, obviously. Uh, revolver ammo, so we can come back. Um, of course we're gonna... Oh, wait, can't I? Oh yes, we can. Okay. Uh, reload, do this. Okay, do this, uh, blind him, reload. Okay, we can do this, we can do this. Woo, nice! Without taking damage. And max ammo! Oh, hi! Uh, are you going to hurt me? Oh, that was bright. I flashbanged myself right now. Wow. Why is it so much brighter than before? Is it just me? We already destroyed shadow equipment. Flashbang. Uh, we need flares in a moment, so I'm not gonna use them. Oh. Hi, guys. This is what I mean, I pressed left mouse click a lot, but there are pauses in between shots. I mentioned this in the first video. Okay, climb up. Now we need the flares, because it's so much easier to get rid of the things. Uh, open. Uh, like this. <laughs> okay, one is gone. The next one. Uh oh. Uh oh. I was. Is it stuck? Oh, it was stuck. Thank. God, there was no step bro beside uh, near us. What the hell? Oh. Uh, we have to go. Um, hi. Um, run, run, Ellen, run. 
Okay, we can't pass that. Was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. Okay, drive, drive. Uh, let's get rid of you guys. Um, come on. <laughs> uh, drive, drive. Oh, we can just drive over both of them. Uh, wait, first this one. Nope. Where's the other? Here. Aha! So now we need to prepare the car. So that we can just drive as fast as possible and do not have to turn around. Uh, checkpoint, thank you. Flare, nice, I forgot. Turn off, okay. Prepare ourselves. Ah! Oh. I'm already too long on mouse and keyboard. My neck is getting stiff, my shoulders start to hurt. Um, good thing I have my horse barn beside me. I'm going to use it later. Oh, come on, get rid of it. Okay, nice. Drive, Alan, drive! Ah! Ooh, ooh, the car's not going to make it. Uh, holy crap! Uh, that's why we needed the car. Run! Oh crap, that's a lot. Uh, run, run, just run, just run. There are too many of them. Oh, don't look behind you, don't look behind you, just run. Okay. Oh wait, I don't want to use the flare gun in a freak in a freak accident. Uh, but the boomstick. Oh crap! Okay, 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 okay. You're way too close, buddy. You're way too close. Oh, I wanted a boomstick. Ah. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, I totally messed this up. Oh, but there is enough ammo. Nice. Oh, max ammo. Thanks. Exactly what I wanted. Uh, ooh, flares. And batteries. Thank you. So forthcoming. Uh, Alan? Oh, he just did not want to walk. Uh, where do we have to go? Them, mm, I think there was uh, not only enemies, but also another ladder. Oh, there are a lot of the tiny guys. Reload! Oh. Uh, trust no one in the dark. Already do not trust anyone except Matt Payne, Sheriff Sarah Breaker, um, Mulligan and Thornton. Uh, who else? Wait, where do we have to go? I forgot. It's not here. It's not here. Wait. I'm confused. Uh, oh, here's the ladder. Okay. Um, wait, who else? Uh, Cynthia, uh, Thomas Zane, and who else was there? Follow. I will. Yellow paint, of course. We trust yellow paint. Uh, can we get this open from in here? Uh oh, oh, uh, go. Go, 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 go! Ooh, nice. So, open this. Thank you. Oh, batteries. Oh, we're full. Uh, run. I think something's going to happen in a moment. 
There was no way the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. <laughs> Not? I thought this is regular. Oh, the black ooze is here again. Uh, and taken. Come on. Ah, oh, nice. Thank you, flashlight. This time you're the best kind of flashlight. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no. Oh, reload, reload. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Boomstick. Oh, uh, where is the medium one? Oh, oh no, that is a medium one. Okay, but this is a big one. Oh. Oh, evade! Oh, crap. Boomstick. Oh, come on. Also, the enemies are getting tougher. So, nice. Let's do this! Uh, is there something? Oh, manuscript page. Oh, we already have that one. Okay. Oh, and that is the way that we have to take. All right. Hi, bird. Oh. Uh, we need a checkpoint, by the way. Uh, yellow paint. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're gonna find the supply crate and then we're gonna be ambushed. So you see, I played Alan Wake 1 a lot. Uh, not like Alan Wake 2 that I only played once. Oh, that's a big ins. Boomstick. Ah! Wrong button! Oh no! Oh crap. Why is a medium enemy here? Okay, we need to do it like this. Uh, where are you? There you are. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh! What? I thought this would stun you. That was close. That was really close. Ooh, thermos. Uh, oh no! Okay, we have to do that again. Um, wait, was that worth it? What was in the supply chest? I did not pay any attention to that. Um, yeah, but the thermos, now I remember. It's just not worth it. It's a hundred bucks for something that would just stand around. Even though I really wanted the thermos. Oh, flashbangs. That's actually kind of nice. Um, because I wanted to use the thermos, because apparently when it's not breaking, um, oh crap, I messed up. Uh, when the inside glass is not breaking, apparently it's really good. Oh, come on, man. Wait, I have to get this right. I'm gonna waste a boomstick ammo, but I really don't like the numbers when they don't align. Um, yeah, because the thermos apparently keeps your drinks warm for a really long time. Uh, help. No! No! Oh, okay. 
you know what i'm just not gonna do that <laughs> we survived that's enough uh batteries yeah oh yeah another encounter I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. <gasps> if that sick. wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. A better boomstick. Uh, we're just gonna take one road. Not both of them. We don't need every collectible. So, where are you guys? Oh, there you are. Turn on. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh, evade. Reload. Ah, evade. Nice. Oh, maybe it gets easier when you take both roads. So we go back, take the left one. Ah, oh, you know what? No, I'm just gonna use stuff. Uh, okay, this is a medium one. That is a medium one. Oh, there are three medium ones. Okay, okay, we can do this. Let's go. Uh, is this the end? No. Wait, 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 come on, use it, turn on, oh yes! Nice, Alan, nice! Damn it, I missed! Oh, hate it. Oh, this encounter is gonna be tough now, we have to use flares and flashbangs. Uh, prepare the flashbangs, please, thank you. And cancel my appointment at midnight. So, turn on, turn on, press the button, Alan, do it, uh, take this, nice, wait, that's it? In my mind that was way harder, <laughs> okay, uh, we did it. Very good. Thank you for believing in me. Uh, what's going on? Thank you for not falling on my head. The dark presence Making was a bonk sound. In the same direction I was going, a cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Maybe. Or maybe not. So a lot of crucifixes here. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's one of the fast ones. Take this. Yeah, not gonna take that much time with you. Just want you to be gone. Uh, there must be a radio inside here. Oh no, batteries. We don't need them. Checkpoint. Thank you. We haven't seen yellow paint in a while. Uh, I think up there must be something. No? No. But yeah, we're reaching the end of episode 3 the now. This was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a oh. century. Oh! Wait, what is... Oh, the dark car. Oh, ow, I wanted to evade, but it was just way too much. Uh, anything else possessed by darkness? Is there something inside? Can we go in? No. No? No, nothing inside. Okay, let's go. Manuscript page, that one we also have. Uh, darkness? Dark 
darkness. We're gonna fight the darkness with light. Oh. Audio diner thermals. Uh, anything else? No? No, I'm not gonna waste that much time with looking for stuff. Yeah, come on. Let's just go to the end. Uh, yeah, up there. Oh, darkness. Oh, darkness fridge! And it's not the one Indiana Jones hid inside to save himself from the nuke. I wanted to use a flare, not a flashbang, but okay, fine. Uh, flare? Ow! Guys! That hurt! Uh, okay. Oh, there is more! Oh, that was close. Like this. Ah, nice. Barely, almost used up the battery. I don't want to use it. Even though we have enough, but still. We're gonna need them in a moment. Uh, was it this way? Wait. Oh, yeah, here. So, more darkness? Yeah, more darkness. Uh, because we need it for these, as they are the tough ones that you need to focus your flashlight on. And they're not moving. Oh! I take it back. Take this. Oh, that did not hit. Nice. Okay, no flares left. There is a thermos. Nice. Thank you. Mmm, coffee. Uh, something here. Oh, the key! Now we can go in. The key was very well hidden, I must say. Uh, flag on ammo. Anything outside of writing is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas mm. Zane. It's shoe very box. hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. The flesh of men. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Hmm, is that a good idea, Alan? I'm not so sure. Oh yes, hunting rifle. Hunting rifle is the best. Even though we haven't used the pump, act pump action boomstick. Uh, oh yeah, we have to go. Oh yeah, not gonna use the hunting rifle, even though oh, we should have used... I always forget to use the bigger weapons. Uh, arrow up there. The kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling <laughs> me to hurry up. Typical Twitter user. Nice, flagger. So sorry uh, that I'm a little bit distracted with my phone right now because this is not my job, this is just a hobby and I have someone that I have to write right now. Birds. 
birds. Uh, get away. Murder of crows. Oh, come on. I'm gonna miss the crows. Uh, the parking spot at my work. They're so cute. I was so... Um, not really invested in the thought, but I really wanted to befriend them so that they will follow me from the parking spot to my, well, lab, but that would have made problems and I don't want to uh, get my crow friends into danger. Uh, run, Ellen, run! Because that would have had dire repercussions, not only for me, but also for my feathered friends. Oh, that was so close! Uh, okay, good. Because they can mess up our jumps. I don't want that. I don't want to do everything here again. We could use the flare gun. Oh, we're already here. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, oh, my ankles. Uh, this is the way. We're in Mandalore right now. We need to bathe in the holy waters. Uh, Tunnels go to Cauldron Lake. So we're gonna take the right path immediately. We're not gonna listen to... Oh, we have to listen to her. Interesting. Anna. Flares, thank you. So, enemies in a moment. Oh. So where are you guys? There's the light at the end of the tunnel. Follow the light, old man. Do you know how old is Alan? Hmm. He's probably younger than me in Alan Wake 1. Uh, you know what? I'm... I'm... Don't care! Oh, that was so close. Uh, yeah, Alan Wake 2 is 13 years after the first game. So, right now he might be younger than me. I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go Oh, on. yes. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Um, yeah, that is... A puzzle. Move the elevator. What elevator? It's a crane. And huh! And yippee! So go up. Um, I forgot. God, we need to go there, I think. Oh no, there was no other way. Okay. Come down, please. Like this. Is it enough? No, it's not enough. I should have done it a little bit higher. A little bit higher. Oh, come on, Alan. You, you can do it! <gasps> We can do it. He just... Okay. <laughs> oh, nice. Thank you. I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Ah, damn it. Okay. 
Okay, now we can do it a little bit higher. <laughs> Okay, let's do this. A little bit higher. This should be enough. But... Wait, can we jump that now? No. Oh, I didn't do anything. Oh, nice. Uh, kick karate! So, go down, put it up, and then we're out of the mines. And that should be the end of this chapter. Can we just go up here and jump over? Should be able to. Yeah. Hop. Yippee. Nice, let's go. Oh, more karate. And kick. <laughs> Such a powerful kick. Just shatters everything. We don't need a gun. Alan has two guns. It's called left foot and right foot. Oh, nice. Those are gone. Okay. Nice. Let's do this. Checkpoint. Thank you. Uh, great. flag on another cable car. Just great. Oh yes. Hop. And start. So. Um. Yeah, we're gonna use the flag on. So, where are you? Bird friends? Darkness birds? Hello, darkness. Copyright infringement. My old friend. Uh, ow! Dude! Take this! Uh, where are you? There you are! Oh, was that? Oh no, that did not hit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Please don't come near me. Don't come here. No. No. I saw a couple of seats way, way behind. Over there. You don't need me. You don't need my flesh. Oh, they dispersed. Oh, that's why. Come on. You can do it. Come on. Oh, no. <laughs> He's just standing there at first. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, come on. Alan, get off there. Run away before you get smushed. Oh. A small one. And a medium one. Oh no, that's also a small one. Nice. Oh no. Oh no, just get to the end of the episode. Get to the end of the episode! <gasps> that was close! Uh, Shit. Yes! Okay, give me stuff. Checkpoint. Oh, we're finally there. Oh no, we're not! <gasps> no! How long was episode 3? Uh, is this a boomstick? No, it's a hunting rifle. Even better. So we're gonna use the hunting rifle now. I'm not playing anymore. I don't want to waste time with little fools. How, dude? Ow! I evaded. Not good, but I still try to. It's a waste of ammo, but... Again, I'm just gonna plow through the enemies right now. 
So come on, Ellen. Oh, nice. Health. Let's go. Cauldron Lake. Wait, what's the the eighth deepest lake in the world? Okay. Cauldron Lake is a caldera lake formed in a volcanic crater. The volcano itself could be considered to be active, but it has not erupted since the volcanic earthquakes of 1970. And even the underground activity was comparably mild. Despite some property damage, there were no casualties. Cauldron Lake is one of the most beautiful spots in the Bright Falls area, as well as a central figure in many local folk tales. It's a popular recreational area for area residents. Hmm. Again, they are just reinforcing this. Um, things becoming real around Cauldron Lake. Um, Alan. Alan. Okay. Wait, do I have to do something? Oh yes, I do have to. Nope, not messing around. Get wrecked. Uh, get off the bridge. Oh, behind me. Get wrecked. Oh, he's still invulnerable. Didn't pay attention to that. Take this. Okay, nice. Um, used a shot. Uh, yellow paint, thank you. Uh, where do you lead me? Here, do you? Uh, more yellow paint. Ah, oh, there it is. Flag on ammo. Everything useful here. Uh, no. Maybe here? No. Wait. Oh, oh, right, 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 right. We have to go to the left. Again, I really forgot how long episode 3 is. It's still gonna... It should... Hmm. Uh, cross the mountain ruins? Oh, up there. Oh, more karate. Oh, no. Just push. Now karate. Yeah. Just imagine how many bones Alan could break just with kicking. Again. He's... Oh, it begins. Mm, Tom, Tom. I miss you, Tom. CW and TZ. You talk to me on TV. Tom, Tom. I miss you, Tom. Did you write this? Tom, 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 Tom. I curse you, Thomas the Zane. Oh, oh it gets more unhinged. Tom, 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 <laughs> Tom, Tom, Tom. Yeah, so um, maybe you can already think of who CW is. Um, I'm gonna give you a moment until I tell you. Until then, I'm gonna mess up some fools. Ooh, flares. Wait, do this, this, thank you. So, fools, where are you? Oh no, who would have thought? Love the camera. Uh, okay, I'm gonna get rid of you, uh, another flare, thank you, come on, come on, come on, shoot, Alan, shoot, oh, oh, that was close, oh, damn, come on, reload, reload, use the time, use the time, get rid of you, oh, crap, You don't need to wait in between shots, Alan. Oh. Oh, 
crap, I was looking for the battery. Oh, why didn't I insert a battery used to flare for nothing? Nah, it doesn't matter. Okay, you know what? We're reaching the two hour mark. Episode 3 is going to be a standalone. And after that, we're gonna play the game that I got a key from the death. Uh, do we... Wait, was there something? Yes, thermos. Even though I'm not uh, collecting everything, but still. Also, it's kind of getting late. Oh, I don't have to work tomorrow. <gasps> That's good. That's very good. I could see Cold For Lake. Almost I forgot. Would have been terrible. The island and the cabin had been. There was a light near it. It had to be a boat. Hmm. A boat. What do you think? It's a boat. I was close now. I had to get there fast. I dreaded what I would find. Yep. Let's go. Hey, I'm here! I'm coming! Hmm. No, we don't have this place. We don't know where she is. She's probably drowned. We just said we had her to make a play ball, you see. <laughs> oh, there she was. Also, I completely forgot to take screenshots all the time for thumbnails. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Ah, damn, too late. Oh, this is good. I'm sorry, but... Ah, <laughs> oh, that must hurt so much. Oh. But yeah, this is the end of the episode. Oh, was I? I was too late. No, maybe not. Oh, I miss my typewriter. Thomas. Yep. Episode 3 done. That was so long. I really forgot how long episode 3 is. Damn. Okay, again, we're gonna end this here. Um, I have to think about how we're gonna do this. Um, but I'm not going to do this now, because now we're gonna change games, um, at least for Twitch. Uh, you on YouTube, I'm sorry, but you have to wait for the next one to appear on YouTube. But until then, please remember to do all the platform-specific things, all the things that make the dings. So thumbs up, like, subscribe, whatever you have to do. And have a great day, stay fantastic, stay hydrated, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Bye!